face that this world has forgotten Ooh, What is up guys and of course welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better? This is Virdolet here and Sky is dead. I killed him. Okay, just kidding. First of all, I'd like to say I'm super honored to be on Sky's channel. I love his content. I love everything he does, all his videos. Super awesome. Um, so let's get right into this uh, this this episode. So we're comparing Garchomp versus Flygon. At the start, you could just write this off immediately. If you look at the stats and the typing, they both share the exact same typing, except that Garchomp has every single stat higher than Flygon, except the special attack. And... This makes you say, so why does why does this episode even exist? But we have to take into consideration the moveset and abilities, which could tip the scale in uh, Flygon's favor. I'm a huge lover of Garchomp. Garchomp is my favorite Pokemon, but I'm going to try my best here to be unbiased. Such a great intro. I mean, what else can I say that Verlet has has already been saying when it comes to these two? There, there are a few things I could implement here, but really, you just he knocked it out of the park, and for quite honestly, he should... Verlin is a very, very awesome man, so definitely make sure to check him out. His link kind of, of course, be linked down below while we're going at it. Now, as far as flying on versus Garchomp, say, as Verlin was saying, Garchomp is in theory stronger in every other stat and has been that since Generation 4. There's not really big to it. Flying on over time, though, has become more viable, of course, with moves changing up in Generation 6, such as Defog and, of course, Inclusion of Dragon Dance, and, of course, this generation, Generation 7. So there are reasons now to compare them and actually try to see which one actually could be deemed better. We're going to do an overarching situation here and not going to talk about strength alone because we're already deemed what that could imply. With that said, of course, Verlet is here for that very reason, because he's an expert at both of these Pokémon, mainly Garchomp. So, Verlet, take it away. So, like I said, looking at the stats, we can already tell that Garchomp has better stats and everything, except the special attack, which they're tied at. So, um, looking at Garchomp, we see that Garchomp has 28 HP more than, than Flygon, which is huge, combining it with the 15 more defense, so um, or base defense, we could say, and also 5 more special defense. So Garchomp is bulkier across the board. Garchomp can run a bulky set, while Flygon finds that a bit difficult, and Flygon is easy to pick up with priorities more than Garchomp. Uh, so in terms of stat, we don't have to talk about that way too long. Garchomp is superior in every single way. Garchomp steps into the realm of bulk while Flygon just falls short a bit. Uh, also, the stat, the difference in speed stat is just two points, which you'd think is irrelevant, but it could be irrelevant from maybe 95 to 97 or 90 to 92, but actually 100 and 110, both of these speed tiers are extremely crowded, and having a, a one extra speed or two just makes you outspeed Charizard. Uh, makes you outspeed, you know, Flygon, Ninetales, a lot of Pokemon are in that speed range, um, but but that 102, even Landris 102 just makes you outspeed all of these huge threats that hit super, super hard. You never want to speed tie with them or be slower than them. So, okay, we've established that Garchomp is better than Flygon in terms of stats, so why does this comparison even exist? So, if we actually look at the abilities, uh, we have Garchomp Sandvel, which is flat out a bad ability, in my opinion. It's just... It, any Wither dependent ability it, is usually extremely tough to pull off. You need a lot of synergy, usually. Pokemon with Sandvel um, usually are ground type or rock or, you know... Um, Basically, any any ability that requires Sandstorm, the Pokemon is usually ground or rock, and then you have Tyrantar and Hippo to set up the sand for you, which requires you to have the same Pokemon twice, so a double water weakness or ice weakness, or even grass weakness, so sand-based abilities are bad. And then we have Rough Skin, which is a very good ability. At first, you you underestimate that, and then you realize it, it probably, if you, like if you have a sweeper team, you can use Garchomp to weaken U-turners in the end, or we can, you know, anything that, that can't kill Garchomp to make them in range of your sweeper, which is uh, very good. This is why people started using Rocky Helmet Landorus T over Leftovers, because um, even though Landorus has no recovery, but this helps them reach the sweeper, so don't underestimate rough, uh, rough Skin. But on the other side, we have an ability that is, in my opinion, better, which is Levitate. Giving yourself an immunity is just so good. Giving yourself immunity is just so good. You avoid ground moves, you avoid spikes, you avoid toxic spikes. This is amazing. 
So uh, Flygon does have a better ability in my opinion. And then we go into the moveset. The moveset is extremely similar, but uh, Flygon has a superior moveset in my opinion as well. So, so Flygon has two awesome moves, or at least, oh, three awesome moves that outclass Garchomp. First of all, every move Garchomp has is, the, uh, Flygon does have that move as well. I mean, there are just few exceptions that I can't recall because of how irrelevant they are. Outside of Sword Dance, I can't remember any other moves since all of them are irrelevant. Of course, Sword Dance is important for wall breaking, but um, that's the only important move that I can recall. But uh, f this, their special move is similar, their physical move is similar, but Flygon has U-Turn, which is huge. Since you know that ground and the dragon combo is, is walled by stuff like Skarmory, Togekiss, a lot of things, basically anything that is levitated and can resist a dragon will wall them, so it's a bit tough, and uh, having a U-turn just helps them way too much in terms of, you know, just exiting, like pu putting a threat and then exiting. Since dragon and ground is a very offensive type, it will force a switch always, and U-turn is a, is a good thing to gain momentum. Unfortunately, Garchomp does not have that U-turn, while Flygon does have that. This is, this is an awesome advantage for Flygon. We also have another move, which is a support move. Flygon has Defog. Defog removes hazards. Flygon is a ground type, which means it resists Stealth Rock. It's it's levitating, so like I said, it avoids spikes and toxic spikes, which means it can defog those hazards away. Um, this is very important for Flygon. Also, um, and the last move, which is which is a move that Flygon got this gen, a very important move, one of the most important moves in the game, which is Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance is huge. If Garchomp had Dragon Dance, it would be it would be scary. It would be really really scary. But it does not have that. Flygon has the Dragon Dance. So we can tell that Garchomp is superior when it comes to stats. Um, kind of subjective when it comes to abilities, but I'd say Flygon is better in my opinion. And then when it comes to moveset, uh, I would say Flygon is objectively better than Garchomp. And I can really only agree here with Bertolet. Now there are a few more moves we actually want to introduce. But of course, before even going over that, it must be mentioned here when it comes to its defogging capabilities. It's such a big edge, it's such a actually unique ability for Flygon, mainly because, as of course Vedele was mentioning here, we have of course the Levitate, which makes you immune to spikes and toxic spikes. Then we have the ground typing, which resists rocks, making of course that you get minimal amount of damage and still be able to defog away. So basically, basically making any kind of hazard for Flygon not a um, maintaining focus threat for it, which is very, very interesting. Even though it lacks the bulk to be of course a great spinner, it still has the variety and speed to become a great defogger. And of course, it gets Roost, which is not mentioned here. Roost makes sure that Flygon can keep on coming, which is actually super interesting for it. Other supporting move that Flygon gets is the likes of Tailwind, which actually might not sound too important, but trust me, if you want to utilize, of course, a Tailwind team, then this is clearly the way to go. And of course, you know, just emboldening the, you know, the niches of Dragon Dance is, of course, it's rather big physical move pull because it has more, of course, physical hits to go with. It has Fire Punch, which is something Garchomp, of course, lacks. It has a special side, of course, Flameform and Fire Blast, but uh, Flyon can, of course, capitalize on, of course, his physical attack, which is something that Garchomp is lacking when it comes to fire hits. And, of course, we have Super Power and Thunder Punch. And on his special side, we have Boom Burst, Giga Drain, and, of course, Bug Bus Single Beam. So there are a lot of things here that Flyon could do that Garchomp simply even couldn't dream of. And of course, now to the big conclusion, and it wasn't necessarily that easy, because we really have to look at this like this. Garchomp, for generation, of course, 4, 2, 7, haven't really got any new toys to play with. It's maintained the same thing, mainly because it already was a pretty awesome Pokemon. It's still one of the most ferocious Pokemon in any tier clearly OU, but it really even was an Ubers for a time here in the fourth generation 4. And there are clear reasons for that. Garchomp was ferocious. It didn't need a buff. It never needed a buff. Its stats alone speaks for that. It's probably one of the few Dragon Pokemon that doesn't get Dragon Dance because it doesn't need it. Because it has a niche speed tier which only makes the dash much more destructive. And then we'll look at Flying On. Pretty irrelevant, generation 3. Did have, of course, its fans, but doesn't necessarily become that great of a Pokemon. Generation 4, forgotten due to Garchomp. Generation 5, forgotten due to Garchomp. Generation 6, Nishi Defogger, great. Generation 7, it has Dragon Dance. 
that's a big deal. But it always got a buff for every generation. The question is, are these buffs in his move pool enough to state that Flygons could consider better? And as stated, it is not such an easy task here. So I'm going to leave the wrap up here to, of course, Verlet to actually summarize the overarching theme of this matchup. In the end, despite it, its huge move pull, I'd have to say Garchomp is better than Flygon. It doesn't matter how many sets you can potentially run, because in the end you'll run one set in the battle, and that set is almost always outclassed by another Pokemon. For a wall breaking, Garchomp is superior. Uh, for, for, for a physically defensive grounded dragon, Garchomp is also superior with more bulk and rough skin. And as a defogger, Flygon is pretty amazing, but I mean, it only has four resistances, which is not much. You could have other types which are bulkier and can defog safely. And for uh, for a Dragon Dancer, of course, you have lit Pokemon that, you know, mastered the art of Dragon Dancing, like, like uh, for example, Dragonite or even Flygon, I mean, or even Salamence, which can run the Z move, fl Flyanium Z move this gen. So, in the end, I'd have to say Garchomp is better. And I am 100% agreeing here with Verlet. The thing is here, Flygon got in buff after buff after buff for generations to generation. But Garchomp has consistently been good from, actually, its first appearance in the game. And that hasn't changed. It is as relevant as it was back then. And it's really unfortunate for Flygon, because Flygon has a really, really good concept going on. But it's always going to be a worse Garchomp. Even with, of course, a new inclusion of the Court Dragon that's definitely buffing its relevance quite a lot. It is still slower than a Scarf's Garchomp, which is one of those things like... It means that even after Dragon Dance, it still isn't able to win that matchup. There's still a situation where Garchomp will consistently be better. Garchomp is a ferocious Pokemon. There are simply not a move pool buff that will solve that matchup for Flygon. Being a 100 base speed versus 102 is just that imminent. Garchomp is slightly faster, slightly better in every area. While Flygon has the better special move pool, it doesn't have the stats for a special move pool to be utilized properly. The U-turn with Flygon seems like a cop-out. It's one of the best things going on with Flygon, but it still isn't enough to save it. The bug, of course, as an attack alone, isn't enough to match or win the matchup that Flygon are severely falling against. And it's just, it's a very, very prominent situation that Flygon just isn't as good as Garchomp. This, of course, comparison was to in, of course, a blind hope that just maybe we could talk about this, but there is no comparison to have here. Flygon has a lot of niches going on, but what it all boils down to is which set is consistently good. Garchomp is consistently good no matter what it does. Flygon is just above average and above average is nice but it's not enough compared to a god so with that said guys thank you of course so much for watching and also to Verlet, thank you so much for joining i really hope you can join me for another episode your inputs here were great it was just a blast to listen to and i hope you guys enjoyed his his narration too because he's definitely on point and his voice is just so soothing Definitely enjoy it. So with that said, of course, what did you guys think? Do you think Garchomp is better than Flygon or the other way around? And if not, of course, make sure to write it down below in the comment section. And with that said, I want to thank, of course, everybody for joining. And of course, join us next Wednesday when we're going to have this matchup.